talk about a fall from grace. My God. Um, this is for me personally watching back to back. Uh, not necessarily a steep major decline like the Highlander series from one to two. This it was gradual, if you can call it that. Um, there's Jaws, Jaws two, Jaws three D, and Jaws Revenge. While the director of Jaws the Revenge says that Jaws Revenge itself is the true Jaws three because he hated Jaws three D so much. So it's a quote unquote retcon of the series. Ugh. Series which has four movies have continuity. Ay ay ay. But oh my god, this movie is fucking horrible. Just uh you can probably have fun with a bunch of buddies and a case of beer and riff track this, it'd be great. The main problem in this film, it just doesn't have the heart as the other films do. They just it just mere echoes of the original film. This is twelve years later. Sorry, I had to get a sip of water there. Eating, eating sweet chili hit, heat chips. Quite spicy. And get stuck in my lungs. Fuck. Now, this story involves around the mother instead of uh, the father. The father itself has died off camera of a heart attack. And there's a novelization of this, uh, of Jaws of Revenge. I'm not sure who wrote it. Probably could have been the original writer. But... But, um, fuck, it's crazy, it's just, like, this is supposed to, the, some voodoo witch, witch doctor put a, put a curse on the Brody family, so now a shark will follow them everywhere or something like that. I don't know why. It's just, it seems like a really far out concept for something that was supposed to be, uh, a great white shark in the original Jaws was supposed to be a freak of nature. Not necessarily a freak of nature, but more anonymously, uh, anonymously. I cannot pronounce words. Fuck. You know what I mean. Something that happens once in a blue moon. Something, a, a creature that was supposed to be, you know, out there, you know. A rarity, an overgrown shark, you know. 25 footer. It's not necessarily the megalodon, you know, megamouth. Um, who, uh, yeah, megalodon, megamouth, mega shark, whatever, who is supposed to be in real comparison 50. 56, 58 feet long, and opposed to like the 25 foot, like twice as long as, more than twice as long as the, uh, the shark in Jaws, but the shark in Jaws is still fucking huge. Um, but, uh, oh my god, this is hard to watch, this film, it's just, uh, Michael Caine, why are you in here, Michael Caine? You're probably the best thing in this film. And Mario Van Peebles is in here, you know, the bad guy, Con, or what's his name from, um, from Highlander uh, 3, The Next Dimension, you know. And then here, he plays the most stereotypical Caribbean Jamaican guy ever. It was so funny. He's like, hey, man, we go that big fish, man. We get a grant and everything, man. You fish. And he, he gets eaten by the shark and he survives after the shark exploded. Uh, by getting hit by the pointy, the front of the ship, the mast, or what do you call it? The, the front of the ship, and he gets impaled, and he suddenly explodes. Well, in the original cut, you'll probably get this from Dina, she also did a, a part two of her Jaws review, talked about the sequels, and they're supposed to be the original cut, the shark gets stabbed, and lingers, and pulls down onto the ship bore. And it's just like, wow, this is bad. They show the shark too much. <sighs> Way too much. Like, like it's so bad. They show the shark in the first five minutes of the film, all face and everything, and its gums look horrible. It's just, oh. And this, and this had a, like eight million more dollars, and twelve years later of a budget. And I don't know. It's something like, uh, you know, in a video game uh, system, let's say, uh, uh, a PlayStation Two, right? And you get. A PlayStation 2 first game came out, let's say 2001, Final Fantasy X, and you get another game which years later probably uh, 
I don't know, maybe another game like six years later, and in the game itself, the graphics are far worse. And something like this, you would think something would be improved in time, but no, they just put they had no budget and they did fucking nothing with it. It just seems like that. But here, the latter is different, is that they had uh, eight million more dollars. They probably spend that all flying out the whole crew out to fucking the Bahamas. And uh, probably get Michael Caine. <laughs> he probably took up most of the budget because Michael Caine is awesome. Shark's so horrible. It's so fake. Like, even the original one from Jaws, they'd never show the shark until like the very end, and it looked really good. You know? Ah, oh, piece of shit movie. Ugh. Only watch this movie if you're drunk. Ugh, fuck. I'm still behind in my videos. God damn it. My sleeping schedule's all fucked up. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I'm running out of movies. I gotta take a trip back to my sister and fucking take some tapes. Anyway, bye.